In this video, we will review order of operations by looking at some practice problems. So the first example says simplify the expressions. And part A is negative 5 squared minus 2 to the 0. So I want to begin by noting that if I had a parenthesis around the negative 5, so parentheses negative 5 and n squared, that means we would be squaring negative 5. In other words, we'd get negative 5 times negative 5 which is positive 25. But if I just have negative 5, no parentheses, and then that is being squared, this means do the exponent first, so it's going to be 5 that's being squared, and then put a negative in front of that whole thing. So this is negative and then times 5 times 5, which is negative 25. So we need to be careful there. So if I use that here, 5 squared is 25, then we put the negative out in front. Similarly, 2 to the 0 is 1, and then we put the negative in front of it. And the negative 25 minus 1 is negative 26, and that is our answer. So let's look at part B next. So I have square root of 10 plus square root of 2, that whole thing being squared. So let's first talk about an incorrect solution to this. I'm going to leave myself a little bit of room here. So if I have parentheses root 10 plus root 2 squared, the temptation is to see that exponent and be like, wee, and bring it to the root 10, and then wee, and then bring it to the root 2 to say, wait, isn't this just, isn't this just root 10 being squared plus root 2 being squared? Because if we did that, root 10 being squared would be 10. It would cancel that root. And then root 2 being squared would be 2. And if we added these, we'd get 12. But that's not the case. This is not a legal step. I can't just distribute a power like that. So I'm going to put this arrow here. So we can't distribute an exponent over an addition or a subtraction. More formally, if I have a plus b in parentheses squared, that is not just going to be equal to a squared plus b squared. That would be a big rule break. Instead, okay, and what I'm going to call this incorrect method is, I'm going to call this the we rule, because it's super tempting to just go we with that exponent and distribute it everywhere. But that doesn't work here when we're adding or subtracting two things. And I'll put a sad face. Okay, so the way I actually work out per something plus something squared is I need to FOIL. I need to distribute it all out. So let's talk about a correct solution. So a correct oops, solution. So we had root 10 plus root 2 being squared. And to work that out, I have to multiply it by itself. So this thing multiplied it by itself. And now I have to FOIL it or distribute it all out. And when we do that, we'll get root 10 times the root 10. So root 10 squared. We'll also have to multiply that by this root 2. And then and multiply this root 2 by that root 10. And then this root 2 by that root 2. So it'll give us 2 root 2 times root 10. And then from multiplying the last two terms together, I'll get a plus root 2 squared. And now if I simplify root 10 squared, that's 10. And then I get a plus. And now with 2 root 2 root 10, I can simplify this a little bit because square root of 10 is root of 5 times 2. And then plus root 2 squared is 2. All right, so first let's simplify 10 plus 2. That is going to be 12. And then if I have a square root of 2 like this, and then this square root of 2, they can multiply together to become a 2. So I'll have a 2 here. We still had this 2, so that should still be there. And then we'll be left with that square root of 5. So let me highlight that so it stands out more. This root 2. And then that root 2, we multiply together to become 2. Alrighty, so what we end up with is 12 
plus two times two, that's four, four root five. And that is as far as we can simplify this. So coming back to our goals for this section, we have finished part of this first learning goal. We've done a quick review of some order of operations and common mistakes that show up there. 